War Machine is one of those games that has been around for forever, but lately hasn't been doing too well. So, can one box of miniatures change that? Yeah, I think so. Especially if it's this box. The new two-player starter set. Because this thing's amazing. Let's talk about why. So for a long time, uh, War Machine was owned by Privateer Press and things were doing okay. The game was not coming back to its glory that it had, you know, 15 years ago, but it was surviving. And then earlier this year, the rights to War Machine were purchased by Steamforged Games and everyone has been kind of watching and waiting to see what they would do with it. What are you waiting for? The first thing they did was bring back the P3 paints. Okay, and they did this in the form of a Kickstarter last month. And did the Kickstarter succeed? With almost 4,700 backers and bringing in almost $800,000, yeah, the P3 Paints Kickstarter succeeded, especially when their goal was almost $50,000. Yeah, they succeeded. They did a great job. They came back, and I think for a lot of people, that was a good indicator, you know, that it's gonna work out the fan base is loyal you know everyone who plays war machine wants it to succeed but there were little things that just made it hard to invest money into it i mean anyone who wants their hobby to succeed you know they want to put money into it but if they think the hobby's going to disappear they're not going to and so i feel like a lot of people have been very hesitant to spend money and Let's be honest, Privateer Press was trying out new things with 3D printing their models and a lot of them being super brittle. It was one of those things that could have gone either way. People were flip-flopping, trying to figure out if this company was going to survive. And then Steamforge Games changed things up again. At first, they just kept releasing the same 3D printed models, changing formulas and things like that to make the models more resilient, which, in all honesty, I'm pretty sure they've gone through three different types of resin during that period, and their latest is pretty good. It's pretty decent. It's not plastic, but it's cuttable. It's malleable. It doesn't break the second you drop it. It's a decent 3D printed material, but that wasn't enough. Steamforge Games decided that they needed to go to plastic. And so that's what they did with this set. The two-player starter set, which you've been able to pre-order and hasn't been available until, I think, today, is awesome. Okay, and it's awesome for a lot of different reasons. And I'll talk about a few of them. There's a few things that I'm not a huge fan of, and I'll talk about those too. This isn't just the one-sided of things channel. I want to kind of point out what I think, and I'd love to hear what you think about that as well. First things first, the models that come in this set are amazing. It comes with two Warjacks from two of the different factions. I'm not going to go into huge detail, but basically they're big magic-powered golems, right? <laughs> that fight for your, your, your army. Um, it comes with two small units, a couple solo units, and two Warcasters. And basically Warcasters are like the kings in chess. If they die, the game is over, and they're gen generally powerful and really cool and just overall awesome and the models reflect that you know and the models come with rocket launchers and throwing axes and just just tons of stuff these are these models are amazing all of them are good models that i look forward to painting and as a painter that excites me you know that's one of the things that i am super excited for when it comes to this set now, when I received this box, there were no instructions or anything on how to put it together, and I managed to put them all together just fine. It wasn't that big of a deal, but as of today, you can scan the QR code that comes with the box, and it'll take you to a link where there are instructions on assembly and other things that can help you out. So, I mean, overall, they're easy to put together, and that, for me, is a big deal. One of the other really cool things that I liked about this is that one of the sprues that this comes with has terrain pieces my incredible wife painted these for me by the way she's awesome but it comes with barricades you know water that you can use to you know put down so that when you're playing you're not playing with cardboard or paper or things like that you're playing with actual plastic off the sprue 
terrain bits which is really nice, really nice to have. Can you use other things? Can you, you know, put in your own obstacles and things like that? Yeah, of course. They just give you a couple to kind of get started and to learn how the game works. With that being said, in the game of War Machine, there are multiple different types and sizes of armies that you can play with. The smallest of these is a 30-point army, and that's what this is. This is two 30-point armies, okay? And they're both exactly at 30 points, one of the cool things, I think, is that all of these models, they don't have interchangeable bits. Which, I mean, if you were, you know, a hardcore member of the, the fandom of this hobby, of War Machine in general, you know, you want that. You want that customizability. But for somebody who's just learning, for a two-player starter set, <laughs> the less that you have to manage just makes it easier. And so that's what they've done. They've given you two exactly 30-point armies that you can fight with and you can fight over and over and over again they're evenly matched and so it really becomes kind of like a little bit more of a game of skill especially as you're learning and getting into that with that being said their app makes it super easy too i mean it's a free app you can have i believe six armies listed in there so if you're just starting out you can create this army of whichever faction you want to do and have your friend or somebody else do the other or you can have both on your phone it doesn't matter and you go in and you set them up and like i said all you have to do is find the individuals that come in this pack add them to your army and it will give you that exact 30 points which like I said, just makes things easy. And one of the great things about this is that it's $100. It's $100 for 12 models, including Warjacks, Warcasters, and solo units. And these units are what's called a cadre inside of War Machine, which basically just means that it can these can be used in any army of that set faction. Okay, and so the different factions will have different armies and some of those units can mesh together some of them can't these units can mesh and they can go into any army that you create from that faction which is nice because it's not just this well you can only play you know the starter game with them you can use them in later armies and honestly these units are pretty good so i can see a lot of people buying these just to use in armies later on which i think is great so that takes us to what are the bad things about this Okay, so first off, and I don't know if it's just because it's their first round of plastic miniatures, but every single model that came in this set had like 10 plus pieces, and the Warjacks had, you know, 20, and it's a lot, <laughs> it's a lot to put together, and, you know, and maybe I feel this way just because I didn't have the instructions, maybe you won't feel that way when you have them, but I just felt like that's a lot of pieces, especially from coming from their models that are printed in resin, and it's like they're three, you know, or four, or they come completely printed, you know, and so just for me, that was kind of like a, wow, this is a little different. And then the other thing is, literally, it's a box with sprues inside. That's it. You know, there's no dice, there's no cards, there's no anything else. It's just the sprues. And granted, it comes with the terrain. It comes with everything that you need to have an army and to play. And you can find dice. Dice aren't hard to find. But it would have been nice to have something, you know, a couple tokens, things like that, in order to play the game. Because, I mean, ideally, you'll use those tokens. You can use the app for everything, but the tokens just kind of give you that visual representation that just make things a little easier. But overall, it's a great starter box set for anyone who wants to get a friend into this game. For $100, you know, you buy it and you can play it again and again and again and again. And every match is going to be different as you get better, as your opponent gets better, and as you learn the game. And then, it's not like you just have to throw this aside. You can take this with you when you go on to play future games. And for me, that is a huge deal. And so, yeah. I think it's a great box set, and I think it's what more more machine needs right now. It's further evidence that things are going to get better. Things have already gotten a lot better, and they're just going to keep getting better. With that being said, do you think that this will get War Machine back to where it was before? Do you think this will be the game, the box, that puts War Machine back on the radar for other companies? 
a box that shows off their models being plastic and the quality that they have? I'm curious to know. And what does the perfect two-player starter box need to have? Is this missing it? Does this have enough? What do you think? What would you put in the perfect two-player starter box? I would love to know in the comments below. And if you have anything else you'd like to share or any questions that you have about it, please feel free to put them there and I will answer them. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for checking this out. I, I love War Machine. I think it's great. I hope to do a lot more War Machine content in the future. And so if that interests you, please like and subscribe. I can already see myself painting these models and doing tutorials. Um, if you want to know how to play the game, let me know. I could put something together and work on getting, you know, a tutorial out there for people on how to play this game. That would not bother me at all. So please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for joining us. And as always, don't spend so much time making your world that you forget to spend a little bit of time in it. Until next time.